Today is 31st of October 2014. Fibonacci's are often described as the effect of throwing a stone into a lake and the way the waves ripple out in circles, ever expanding circles, is defined by the Fibonacci um, ratio principles. So I wanted to apply that to the S&P 500 going back to January of 2016. And we're going to take in motive wave this Fibonacci um, circle tool. Now I've already drawn them for the sake of um, making this a shorter video. And I want to show you um, how they relate to the S&P 500. So the first one that I've drawn takes the low back in 1995 to the high of 2000, which you remember was the dot-com bubble. And look at how these um, Fibonacci expanding waves have fit the motion. Here you have 23.6, here you have a lot of congestion around 38.2, and then finally you have a break to 61.8, the golden ratio. And we have um, several weeks here, this is, every one of these bars is two weeks. So we have several months actually where we followed the 61.8% um, Fibonacci arc. So now let's take a second one. The second one starts at the bottom here, which is in 2002, and moves to the high of 2007 before the pre-recession um, crash. Let's delete this one. Let's look and see how well these Fibonacci arcs fit. Here's the 23.6. We played around at the 61.8, but we came to a definitive bottom at 78.6. So now let's draw the third one. There's our third one, so I'm going to take out the second take out the first. And there's the third one, which we started at the low in 2009, up to this peak, and we had a 38.2% retrace, perfect on the nose, and then we started to climb. Now we've climbed and we've hit the outside, which is a 100% recovery, and we saw several weeks of hanging around there, and this week or for the last two weeks, you can see that we have hit our high today of 2017, and we've exceeded the arc, so it's time to find a new one. And for this, we take our circle, and we still follow the same principles, except we don't know where the high is. But if we assume that we've just made a high, and I don't for a second think that that's the high, let's delete this one. Now we have something that looks like this. If we're going to have a pullback, the 23.6% is what we almost achieved about a month ago when we had that little flash crash down to 1820. So now let's keep an eye on these, um, these circles and let's see where we're going. If these circles are accurate, then we're headed for somewhere in the neighborhood of 2100. How long it will take to get there, and will we bounce off this 23.6 before getting there, um, that's what to look at. But if I were looking for pullback in the future, it would be around the 23.6, first of all, concentric uh, fib circle. And if I were looking for the next peak, it would be somewhere in this region here, between 2050, and 2150.